Hey everyone, I'm Vincent. Now, did you know that three-fourths of companies actually have a formal employee referral program? What's even more important is that 26% of external hires actually come from employee referrals, making it the number one way that people get a new job. And the reason for this is because employers love employee referrals. And part of this is that these referrals are filled faster, on average 29 days to hire compared to 45 days from people who apply on a company website. Join us as we continue part three of our Viton series, Two-A-Days, getting a job interview every day. Some companies like Ernst & Young have even set internal targets for hiring 50% of their experienced workforce through employee referrals. At EY, every single resume from an employee referral is reviewed and candidates are fast-tracked through a special team. This can make a big difference compared to being stuck last in line through job boards or applying through a company website, where it's possible that your resume will never even be seen by a human being. That's because most large companies use what they call an applicant tracking system, or ATS for short. The purpose of an ATS is to keep track of different candidates who apply for a role as they go through the interview process, but there's also one more important function that the ATS plays. It acts as a first filter at the top of the hiring funnel to, feed, to weed out unqualified resumes that the recruiter won't even look at. Applying through an employee referral guarantees that you don't get filtered out in the first stage of this process. However, the stats also show that how you apply makes a big difference in the outcome as well. According to a study by three economists from the Federal Reserve Bank of New York, getting referred doubles your chances because candidates who are referred are twice as likely to receive an interview compared to somebody who applied blindly. Referred candidates who make it to the interview stage are also 40% more likely to be hired than other candidates. Companies like Deloitte receive over 400,000 resumes a year, but recommended employees are guided along by a special 12-person team supporting internal referrals. This is much better than sending your resume into a black hole. Applying through an employee referral can help get you feedback and status updates about the job application as well without having to bother the recruiter. Now in previous lessons, we've talked about social media and LinkedIn and these platforms have changed the game for the job search. They can definitely give you an edge or completely take you out of your job search depending on how you use them or don't use them. Now, the next time that you see a role that you're interested in, you want to make sure that you leverage your LinkedIn network to get connected to an employee who can refer you. First, start with your strongest connections, such as people that you've met at previous networking events, conferences, previous coworkers, or other alum from where you went to school. Check to see if any of them are working at companies that you'd be interested in joining. And once you determine the right individual, it's time to start reaching out. But depending on the strength of your relationship, it might be a good idea to also send them a copy of your resume to review as well. But when you ask for referrals, you want to make sure that you ask the right questions first. Instead of asking, hey, can you refer me for this position? Instead, say, do you think I'd be a good fit for this position? And based on how they respond, then you can ask if it might be okay if they referred you. There's nothing more awkward than being asked to refer somebody who isn't qualified for an opening. Also, you can set up informational meetings. Go grab coffee with somebody that you're interested in at the company that you're interested in. Now, the purpose of these informational meetings is to learn more about a company or more about a profession, but they're also a great way to build new contacts and a stronger network. At these informational meetings, be careful though when requesting a referral. If the individual that you're talking to encourages you to check out the job postings, then a referral might be welcome. But if they didn't mention any job opportunities, it's a good idea just to maintain a relationship with that person and after that meeting, maybe follow up in a couple weeks. There's often cash incentives for your friend to recommend you. Deloitte and Enterprise Rent-A-Car have all started giving away iPads and big screen TVs for employees who refer candidates. 
Now, even though employee referrals only make up 7% of applicants, they actually account for 40% of all hires. If there's a way to reach the target company, an employee referral should be your first choice in making contact with that desired employer. Today, we talked about how to dramatically increase your odds of getting your foot in the door. Now, once you make contact, you want to make sure that you market yourself in a way that makes it you a desirable candidate in a way that shows that you can add value to that organization. In the next video, we're gonna talk about personal branding, including your cover letter and your resumes. So stick around for the next video in our Viton series, two a days, get an interview every day. Now, if you liked this video, give it a big thumbs up right over there and click the subscribe button right over the Viton logo.